Remington is now serving brunch and Chef Frederico Tischler is the owner of the stall White Envelope at the R House. Good morning. Good morning. And you're going to make us a traditional brunch, is that right? Yeah, kind of. A little it's bit? Our, it's our version of a very traditional cornbread in Venezuela that we call arepa. So you have here, so it's a cornmeal and we're going to make a twist a little bit using our flavors. Okay, and so you have a lot of different flavors here. Yes. We went through some of them. This is like your traditional cornmeal. Yeah, the white mm -hmm. is just cornmeal. Okay. Then we have ají dulce, which is a sweet chili from Venezuela. Oh, it sounds good. Blood sausage, mm -hmm. pork cracking, uh -huh. and beets. Okay, all right. Oh, I think um, Theo was wanting so this to try is the, the Chilean one. That we make every day from the scratch in the, okay. the restaurant. And so what is that? What did you call that? Arepa. Arepa, okay. Uh -huh. So it's a right. just it's cornmeal mm -hmm. with water, sugar, salt. Okay, and just we just mix. Make it up and ready to go. And yep. then what do you do with it? We just make a like a little cake, mm -hmm. seal, and then bake. Okay, seal. and that's what you have over here working no, in this the little is the, skillet. It's like a hash brown. Ooh, that sounds but good. But instead of potato, we use mm -hmm. yuca. Okay, and so what you do with these traditionally is you make like sandwiches out of them. Is that yes. right? Yes, we just open. Mm -hmm. Take one for you. Okay. Just You're the master. You put yeah. it all together. What hours are you guys open? From 10 to 10. Okay, that mm -hmm. you're open a long time. So we open and then stuff. That's awesome. Like and sandwich. then you can stuff it with what? Uh, well, we have like 12 different arepas mm -hmm. from beef, pork. Uh, we have vegetarians, fish, so different options. And the nice thing about all this is you're introducing people to maybe different flavors that they've yes. never had before. Yes, and also the whole menu is gluten-free because we're using corn instead of uh, wheat. And also we have vegetarians and vegan options and the idea that our food has to be fun. Oh, what's one of your biggest sellers there? And uh, the short rib. The short rib, oh, that sounds amazing. You guys mm. have been open for a year now? Yes. All right, and what else are you gonna cook for us over okay, here? Okay, we're gonna fry an egg. Okay. It's gonna be very easy. Uh, it's my easiest go-to ever is frying <laughs> eggs. And in addition, you have some cheese that's grilling over here too, is yes. that right? Okay. Yes. All right, we're all excited because we're all hungry. And Theo has no power in her house, so anything that you could do for her breakfast wise yeah. would be great. Anything you could do, that would be fantastic. Gonna, this is a grilled cheese. We're gonna plate it here. It's a little mm. bit of bacon. Oh, that looks This delicious. is the yuca hash brown. Wow. Oh wow, that looks really Something good. Different. Yeah. How much do you love being able to introduce people to the, your native dishes? Uh, it's very nice because it's the way of we show our culture through the food. Yes, and, and that's showing love, right? Yes, that's yes, absolutely sure. showing love. All right, 10 to 10 at the White Envelope at the R. Remington House. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank All right, you. you work on that egg there and you work on